The principle of yin and yang is that all things exist as inseparable and are polar opposites. The numbers nine and six. The yin is the feminine black Jesus energy and the yang is the masculine white Lucifer. Could the one we call God, the one who created this matrix reality, be in fact both the Jesus and Lucifer energy, the yin and the yang? Find out next on this episode of Decode Your Reality. And hello everyone, welcome once again, Logan here, this is Decode Your Reality. Today we're doing one on, yet again, breaking down God and the yin and the yang. This is yin and yang decoded, and I got a lot of material to cover, so stick with me. I promise you, I will be showing you things that will pop your navel, it will blow you away. The yin and the yang right here, Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader, Yoda... The yin and yang principle is exactly where it's at. I'm going to show to you with undeniable evidence using many different facets. Here's my methods for decoding on exactly what we see when we say God or when we observe God or we pray to God. What is the very makeup of God? And I'm going to show you using these modalities here. These are my methods of decoding. I'm going to be using the numerology of the English ordinal and the Chaldean. I'm going to be using true science. We're going to be measuring these numbers and words and letters break, broken down using atomic weights and true science that can be measured in a laboratory. I'm also going to be adding in, of course, the Tarot system and last but not least, common sense. You got to have that. Most people don't have that. Not you, as I always say, but most people don't have that. They ignore the common sense and they just don't see the writing on the wall. I'm going to show you with clear and convincing evidence today of what God is or the, what we, the makeup of it is. Now I'm going to start off just throwing a Bible verse in there. Whether or not you're religious or not, it doesn't really matter, but I think what's fitting is some of these aspects in the Bible, Deuteronomy 6 verses 4, there's 64 squares on a chessboard. You know, he says, the Lord our God is one Lord. You decode that using the Chaldean. It ends up being the number 96. I'm going to get into that hot and heavy. That's the yin and the yang right there, the nine and the six. It's in the symbol of cancer in the zodiac. You know, interestingly enough, this has 22 letters, seven words. You divide those in, you get 3.1, which is pi, the perfect circle. That ties into the element gallium. And of course, it's the mirror of the 96 it's the 69 and last but not least I've shown this countless times asking this artificial intelligence how do you spell your name you get the number 96 so I think it's clear right there but I'm gonna keep going I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna show you this right here this was mind-blowing to me I am your father equals the number 47 just like the word tetragrammaton which is the Jewish or Hebrew God that was worshipped centuries and thousands of years ago and to this to, to, until today it's still today you know the word freemason equals 96 just like the word tetragrammaton breaks down into the 96 it's the 47 notice here i have some really popular words in today's society those that run the world our government washington dc white house georgetown all in the district of columbia those all equal the number 47 and why is that because the tetragrammaton equals 47 when you break this down using its syllable aspects and you use it using the atomic weights you get the number 96 again how do you spell your name 96 right there it breaks into the 47 i am your father we're going to get into that really in depth and here we go this really was a clarifying moment for me when i decoded this and you know look i am your mother i am your father why is that significant i am your mother equals 49 I am your father equals 47. We know that the yin and the yang is a masculine and feminine. That's what the yin and the yang is. And 49 and 47, when you divide those into one another, you yet again get the number 96. And again, a tetragrammaton. How do you spell your name? I mean, is it not undeniable that this number here is extremely special to our reality? It's the polar opposites of one another. I think it's clear, crystal clear, right here, what we're looking at. 
Let's go a little bit further. I brought Latin into this. Forget about English. Everybody says, oh, you're just using English and that's not the etymology. Well, let's go back a little bit and let's look at the Latin spelling of the word mother and father. It's mater and pater or mater and potter, however you pronounce that. But I thought this, this kind of blew me away. If you, if you know anything about the occult and esoteric and the 117, you know, the convenience store is 7-Eleven, the Great Pyramid of Giza has the 11-7, the speed of light has the 7-Eleven embedded into it. And look at what we have here. 57 for mother in Latin and 60 for father. And when we break those down in the atomic weights, the elements 57 and 60, you have lanthanum, that's a tongue twister, and neodymium, 57 and 60. And when you divide these into one another, you get the number 96. So it's crystal clear. We're developing a pattern and we're defining what our reality is according to how we relate to God. Let's keep going. Thought this was interesting as well. You know, these uh, elements, they have these, you know, little letters here describing them. And these two end up being the word land. And of course, you decode that land equals 31. The element 31 is gallium. I showed that earlier on in the uh, the Bible verse. But of course, gallium is 69, the mirror of the 96. And, you know, look at what you have. You have the mirror of the 31, which is the 13 in Chaldean. And then if you were to add up these right here, the elements in these two right here, you end up getting the number 96. I didn't even put that in there, but the significance of that really is in this right here. I think it's crystal clear once again. Let's keep going. Mother and father, I said that these were 47 and 49, which when you divide them into one another, it equals 96. Well, then when we go ahead and we break these down in their atomic weights, let's find those. You get the father, which is silver, and you get the mother, which is indium. And when you add up these atomic weights, you get the number 222.686. Now, John Petrie, thank you once again, my friend, for showing me this technique long ago. You take this number here and you add up its mirror and you end up getting 686.222. That gives us the number 908.908. .908. And if you do have done anything on the mirroring aspect of numbers, you'll know that this is very rare that you get a number side by side like this. Very, very rare. So to me, this tells me this is a source of energy. It's not something that feeds off something else. It's a source energy. And look what we have when we break this number down in the English ordinal. 908 equals 155. When we add up 155 together, because we're talking mother and father, we get the number 310. Of course, we drop the zero. It all relates once again back to gallium and the number 69. One thing I want to throw in there, the 222. If you break down King Solomon's temple in 1 Kings, the Holy of Holies ends up adding up to the number 86. And the 86 element is radon and radon's atomic weight is 222. Undeniable, ladies and gentlemen. Let's bring in the Hebrew alphabet. I thought this was really fitting as well. Since we're talking about the 310, we end up having 83 letters, 22 words. Here is the Hebrew alphabet. And look how what this adds up to in Chaldean, all these words. 310, once again, adding up, dropping the zero, getting the 31, 69 is the mirror of the 96. How do you spell your name? I mean, ladies and gentlemen, you tell me what you see. I know what I see clear. It's crystal clear what I'm seeing right here. I don't need anybody else to tell me anything. All right. And, you know, you can say I'm being biased and there is no cherry picking. These are direct hits. Direct. It's undeniable in my eyes. What do you see, though? Let's break it down even more. I said the 155 is zero. A 908 right here, was which, was, which is what we got. 908, when we go, uh, I'm sorry, and it ends up breaking to 155. When we go into pi and we measure it in pi, 155 digits into pi, the perfect circle. Look what it lands on at the last three digits. 111. The number 11 is the number of magic. What's the number 111? Well, the element that carries the 111 is rhodogenium. And... The atomic aspects of this right here, the 20, the 280, we can decode that. I leave that up to you. 
I'd left that out, but interestingly enough, the, the actual element's name equals 47, matching that up with Tetragrammaton, White House, Georgetown. I mean, do you think there's a pattern that we're establishing here? And of course, the 155, again, it's tied to the 908 because it's right there. So to me, it's undeniable. So let's get into the yin and the yang. I'm going to break this down using multiple ciphers. I'm not just going to use the Chaldean. I'm using. I'm actually bringing in Septenary in this today. I left that one out, but I wanted to show you three different per per perspectives to look from because I know some of you decoders like to use different ciphers. I know this is a really popular one. It doesn't really matter which one you do. You just have to really decode it a little bit deeper with some of these um, with some of these ciphers. I prefer to use Chaldean. I believe those that rule primarily use that. But English Ordinal works great as well. But notice that when you break these down in its single aspects, Y is 25, I is 9, N is 14, and so on. When we break these down in their atomic weights, 25, 9, 14, mag manganese, fluorine, and silicon. And then the Yang is manganese, hydrogen, silicon, and nitrogen. And when we add these up, ladies and gentlemen, these are the numbers that we're getting. The Yin is 102.021, and the Yang is 98. 0 0.038 we go over to our calculator and we divide that into one another and look what we get another 96 to me it's undeniable i what do you what do you see though to me it is freaking undeniable that the 96 is what runs our matrix reality you can deny it all you want i think it's undeniable and i'm, I'm showing it to you here let's let's show it in a different mannerism the yin and the yang using the septenary. Again, 251 right here, and then 2117. So we break this down in its atomic parameters. We get the numbers 15.821 for the yin and 20.026 for the yang. When we divide those into one another, we get the number 0.79, which of course is the almighty element gold. And you know, notice in here as well, look at the atomic weight of gold. It's 1.96 there's the 96 again so again another huge direct hit on really the yin and the yang last but not least the chaldean which is the one i primarily use it's the 115 for the yin and the 1153 for the yang we add these up in their atomic weights we get the number 12.826 for the yin and 19.766 for the yang and when we divide these into one another we get the number 0.64 and you know there's 64 squares on a chessboard and I, that, that to me right there tells the story loud and clear i've decoded the chess before if you haven't seen my video on it check it out you know we're looking at jesus and satan jesus is the hermit uh, Satan or Lucifer is the temperance card, the 9 and the 14. And, you know, interestingly, I wanted to throw this in there. When you decode those in numerology using the Chaldean, the, the Hermit and Temperance, you get the number 77, which is a master number, which sits at the 79th position on the elements of the periodic table, which is gold, which matches this right here, right there. So they're all direct hits. You just got to observe them and check them out. And again, here I'm just going to show you this again. I've showed you this before. The chessboard here is, you know, Jesus and Satan and Jesus and Lucifer. It's the black. Jesus is the black feminine. Lucifer, Satan is the masculine white. The 64 squares on the chessboard. When you divide the 9 and 14, which is right here, you get 0.64. When you divide the 18 and 28, argon and nickel, you get 0.64. And even when you add up 18 and 28, you get the number 40 six so as it's clear this is exactly what god's personality is it's jesus and lucifer feminine and masculine it's the why here's another clear and convincing aspect the alpha and omega when you break this down in its atomic weights 4 14 7 9 and 4 right here and you add that up you get the number 79 point something something but the 79 is the primary number and again it's gold once again it's gold and then of course remember the atomic weight of gold is 196 there's that 96 once again once again this is another big aspect to view from we break down the yin feminine black jesus which are all keywords to describe that nine aspect and then the six aspect the yang masculine white lucifer the opposite of that you get the number 283 and the number 226. When you divide those into one another, yet again, we have the element 
gold. I, it's, it's crystal clear. I mean, what do you see though? Because I'm just seeing it from my own two eyes. I'm showing you perspectives. I think it's completely undeniable. This is God in the truest form. It's both the black and the white, the yin and the yang, Jesus and Lucifer. That's why they both equal 74 in the English ordinal, Jesus and Lucifer, because you're looking at the polar opposites of one another. They're one of the same combined into one thing. That's why the Yod starts off with the letter Y. The Y splits into one pole, and you get both the black and the white coming down into the pyramid, and that's what we're seeing right here. I think this is undeniable, ladies and gentlemen. What do you see? 64 squares in the chessboard. You have tons of gold in here. The 96 is all over the place. The 111, I mean, into Pi, into the Hebrew alphabet, you're seeing it. Mother and father, you're seeing it. Not only in English, but also in Latin. Mater and Pater, or Mater and Pater, or whatever you say it. I mean, I think it's undeniable that we're seeing the 96 in the yin and the yang. And this is what we call God right here. I'm your mother, I'm your father. You know, and, and quite possibly, this is the real reason why those that rule love the 47. It is tied to the 96. It's tied directly to the 96. It's right here. 47 is the tetragrammaton. When you break it down in its atomic weights, you end up getting the number 96. How do you spell your name? This has so much power because it has antiquity to it. It's been worshipped, talked about over and over. Here's another symbolic aspect of the tetragrammaton. Ladies and gentlemen, you're looking at this for the first time, maybe. Maybe you're scratching your head, but I promise you, this is exactly, in my eyes, how it works right there. You're looking at it, the yin and the yang, decoded. My name is Logan. That's all I got for today. My name's Logan. This is Decode Your Reality. Thanks for watching.